As you are all well aware, I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber, but I'm an emulation YouTuber. And there's so many awesome emulation and ROM hack related projects out there, and I really don't cover them as much as I should, but I feel like I'm gonna be starting to change that because there's a lot of stuff out there I wanna talk about. And today's ROM hack that we're looking at for the N64 is absolutely incredible. It's not a wrestling game for once. It's an actual Mario Kart 64 ROM hack changed into Simpsons Kart 64. And you know me, I'm a big fan of the Simpsons. Now, what's cool about this ROM hack is it doesn't necessarily require an emulator and high resolution textures. Yes, you can emulate this via an emulator, but if you have something like an EverDrive, you could simply put this ROM onto your EverDrive and play it on your actual Nintendo 64 with your friends. Now, I'm not going to link the ROM because... I mean, it's Mario Kart 64 at its base, and Nintendo really doesn't like me. But you really just got to type in Simpson Kart 64 into Google, and the ROM will pop up very easily. It's a drag and drop situation. I've talked too much. We need to look at this game, though, because this has to be seen and really heard to be believed. This absolutely blew my mind, and it's so much fun. So let's check out Mario Kart 64, except now it's Simpson Kart 64. All right, so here is Simpson Kart 64. The menus will look familiar, but they got a little bit of Simpsons flair to them now because they made this a Simpsons game. It, it's absolutely mind blowing. Here's the character lineup. We got voices. We have voices. Hi, Karamba. Low and steady. Hip hip hooray! Idly hone. That's cross terrific. Big, big man, big man. All right, so they did a poo dirty, like, let's be real. But, you know, they, they came for a poo, uh, all the uh, lovely people out there in the world. Um, but you can see the courses here have been renamed into Simpsons-esque courses. But what about the actual, like, courses themselves and stuff? Literally, they've managed to change a lot of stuff here. You can hear a little bit of a, a snippet of the Simpsons theme song here. And when you look at the courses themselves, like, yes, we have the different characters. Yes, it has the same, you know, Mario Kart uh, theme to it with the with the soundtrack. But, like, that's okay. But, like, your items have been changed. The, the layout of the level as far as some of the background designs has been changed as well. We've got our Duff Beer instead of our Mushrooms in order to accelerate. You can see it's even accurately replicated in that little screen there but just like one of the things i love so much about this is just driving around the courses see what's changed like the big duff beer thing in the distance there like that's super cool i'm i'm terrible at drifting but it's super cool stuff like the amount of work that they really like put into this in terms of the items in terms of the roster in terms of the characters themselves we got the crusty balloon coming down with the uh, additional power up here like it's so cool and I'll, I'll get into races where like i'm kind of far behind because there is one thing it literally made me crack like i was laughing out loud as i was playing this we hit a beer can there freaking crusty and wiggum are are putting the work in here but they're i mean they're not gonna win of course but just it's so unique like that's what i could say about this it's just so unique and the fact that you can play this on original hardware like that's just so cool to me i think you know they really went above and beyond with this and you'll see more in just a second we got the old Simpson Farm here, because, you know, you got to have the Simpson Farm. I know you guys saw Bumblebee Man and Ralph Wiggum and Nelson Munch chilling in the background. Excellent little touches there. Quickie Mart logos. I believe this is the race where something very, very funny happens, where I see one of the power-ups, and it just, it just made me crack up. But you can see there, they've made, like, stink balls be the... Um, turtle shells and stuff. Look at this. The ghost of Maud. The ghost of Maud instead of the boo. I was dying. I was absolutely dying. No pun intended when that popped up. Like just it's like who thought of that? Like that's so cool. We of course got the Slurpee at, or yeah the um what the hell do they call them? Slushy Slurpees? I don't know. I'm having a brain fart there as like um your mushroom power up and stuff like that. Just hilarious stuff here just great stuff great attention to detail within the levels i'll show you guys a couple more things and some additional characters as well and then uh we'll kind of wrap things up with this 
good old Toad's Turnpike with Ned Flanders. Look at look at a little spawn wave there back when he had his glasses. He's feeling all good about himself. He's in first place. I mean, he's just absolutely killing it. Um, I didn't use an N64 controller to play this. Um, like I said, I was using an emulator. I was actually using a brand new emulator that I've never tried before called Simple64. And like the name says, it's a very simple emulator to set up and use. Um, I used a third party, um, like AliExpress style controller dual stick, but it, you know, it worked pretty well with this. But Flanders, you know, he has multiple quotes in here. I will say that like, some characters seem to have more quotes than other characters. And I would have liked to have seen a bit more variety. Like, I get it. You got to have the Simpsons themselves. But, like, a poo, if you're not going to use a poo's voice for whatever reason, and truth be told, I actually haven't tried a poo yet. Um, I've tried everyone else as a character. But, like, you know, you could have put Mr. Burns or Smithers in there or something like that, spice it up a little bit. But, like, I, I just love this. I love this ROM hack. I, I think it's so cool. And the fact that it works on, like, original hardware. And you could do, like, the battle modes and stuff, like, with your friends. You got the little vote for Quim or vote Quimby up there. Like, just awesome stuff. The attention to detail that went into this is just absolutely incredible, in my opinion. And, you know, this really makes it stand out among a lot of other ROM hacks. And maybe this, there's, like, a treasure trove of these Mario Kart 64 hacks that I'm just not privy to, but this one just completely caught my eye for sure. Bowser's Castle, more like Monty's Manor. Yes, we have the Mr. Burns style uh, castle slash mansion thing. Um, this is a pretty cool level. You know, the um, the blocks, things, I, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart when it comes to names and stuff. I haven't eaten dinner yet but when I'm filming this. Um, the blocks have like the faces of the Rottweilers from you know mr burns as a state you'll you'll see him coming up here i would have liked a little bit more like burns flair in this but I, I guess there are limitations to what you can and can't change as far as like textures are concerned i would assume i don't really know but like just the amount of work that went into this project as it stands now is like incredible to me like it's just so cool to add in the voices to add in you know variations to the tracks and stuff like that there is some good mist i'm messing around with the uh different uh <laughs> the uh mini map settings here but like this is cool like i like the i like the photo of mr burns here that's really awesome and of course we got to close things out with everyone's favorite miscreant good old Bart Simpson at the Krusty Land course, which is, of course, Wario's track redone with uh, some Krusty branding alongside of it. I, I love this ROM hack, though. I think it's so awesome. I think it's so unique. And like I said, it's you don't have to know how to do anything special or whatever. You simply just download the ROM, pop it into your favorite emulator. It's automatically set up. Or you can pop it into your EverDrive and literally play it on a CRT with your friends and some pizza and some beer and you know do all the modes and stuff like that awesome stuff here it's called simpson cart 64 the name of the creator of this escapes me right now but shout outs to them and you know just shout outs to the modding community in general for doing all this sort of cool stuff i mean who would have thought who would have thought that this would be a thing let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below though do you plan on checking this out because if you're a simpsons fan i highly suggest you do kind of the simpsons racing game that we never really got because I mean, Road Rage was like crazy taxi. Like, why do they never do a Simpsons kart race or come think of it? You have such a huge roster of characters. But let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you like this video and you want more emulation and ROM hack sort of looks and, you know, information, I'll be sure to do it. Just let me know in the comments. Share the video around. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.